ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഹോപ്പ് ഓൾ ഓഫ് യു ആർ ഡൂയിങ് ഫൈൻ അത്തത്തിന് പൂവെല്ലൂടാൻ തുടങ്ങി എന്ന് വിചാരിക്കുന്നു ആൻഡ് നാവ് ഇറ്റ്സ് തിരുവോണം കമ്മിങ് ഓവർ ആൻഡ് തിരുവോണം തരാ മെനി സെലിബ്രേഷൻസ് മെനി തിങ്സ് പ്ലാൻ ഫ്രം അവർ സ്കൂൾ സൈഡ് so participate in all those things enjoy your own okay corona will come corona will go so many other things will come in life and then it will also go away but each and every moment is for us this moment is for us to for us to live okay we'll cherish each and every moment that we have so we have learned about uh, common factors in the last class common factors common multiples now i am going to talk about hcf this also we have learned highest common factor isn't it so we are going to learn that lesson why i uploaded because uh, i just uploaded a video because hcf you have already learned in fourth standard okay just a reminder of how hcf is to be found now here we have learned this year about prime factorization so i am going to teach you how to do hcf using prime factorization as well okay so the first number it is hcf of the following numbers 18 and 48 so 18 if i take 18 you can write it as what are the factors of 18 1 18 then you have 2 9 3 6 4 there is no factor 4 fours are 16 4 fives are 20 5 no factor then next number is 6 6 is already here so all the factors are over so the factors are 1 2 3 6 9 and 18 for 48 if we take for 48 we have 1 and 48 then we have 2 and 24 3 will it go let us check 4 plus 8 is 12 12 is a multiple of 3 so 3 should go so 3 how many times let us see Three, how many times it will go in 48? It is 16 threes are 48. Then we have 4. Will 4 go in 48? Yes. 4 into 12 is 48. 5? No. The last digit is 8, so 5 will not go. 6? 6 eights are 48. 6 8s are 48 7 stable 48 is coming no 7 7s are 49 7 6 are 42 7 7s are 49 so it is not coming so next number is 8 8 is already here therefore all the factors are over now let me write it neatly over here 18 i got the factors as 1 2 3 6 9 and 18 and then for 48 i got it as 1 2 3 4 6 8 12 16 24 and 48 now we have to find the common factors the common factors here are 1 2 1 is there in both the cases so 1 is a common factor next one is 2 2 is there in both the things so 2 is the common factor then we have 3 3 is also a common factor then next we have 6 6 is also there in both so 6 is also a common factor next number is 9 9 is the no 18 18 is also not there so now from this we have to find out the highest common factor okay highest common factor highest common factor is equal to what is highest over here that is 6 so highest common factor so we can write it as hcf of 18 comma 48 is equal to 6 okay now the word highest highest greatest greatest number longest maximum okay all these things when it comes in word problems you should know that it is h c f word problems of this kind will come okay so you have to find out these you have to look out for these words highest greatest longest maximum in all these cases they are asking for hcf okay children now i told you that not only using this this method all of you have already learned in fourth standard how to find isn't it now we learn we have learned about prime numbers we have learned about divisibility and all those things 
So using that, how we can find HCF in a different way? That is what we are going to look into today. Okay. So in the textbook, it is given as different, different sectors. I'll teach you together. Okay. Learn it in one method that will help you. Only one method for HCF and for LCM. You learn only one method for HCF and LCM. Don't learn any other method. Learn only one method. Every time I teach one method, then from home parents will be teaching some other method. Then you will get totally confused. So here you can see, just concentrate on one method so that you don't go wrong. Okay, I am going to teach you the easiest method. Now let us take these two numbers, that is 18 and 48. These two numbers, we have to find the HCF. I will take both the numbers together, 18 and 48. Now, I am going to divide these numbers. Okay. Now, look at the last digit, 8 and 8. Prime numbers, what are the prime numbers? We have 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, etc. You have learned all the prime numbers up to 100. After 100, 101 is also a prime number, children. Okay. So, you know all the prime numbers. So, we have to see the last digit is 8. So, which prime number will go in this divisibility test, you know? 2. With 2, you can divide. We are using only prime numbers that you should know. So, 2 is a prime number that can be divided that will go in both these things. So, we have 9 twos are 18, 24 twos are 48. Now, you see children, we have to divide these two numbers, 9 and 24. Now, here the last digit is 9. So, you cannot divide it by 2. Then what is the next number? Next number is 3. Will 9 go in 3? Yes. Can 24 be divided by 3? Yes. So, we can divide both the numbers. 3, 3 is a 9. 8, 3 is a 24. Now, we get 3 and 8. 3 is a prime number already. 8 is not a prime number. So, will 3 go in this? 8. Will 3 go in 8? No. So, here there are no common factors here now. We cannot divide both the numbers with any other number. So, our division stops here. Okay, there is no prime number which we can divide with 3 and 8. If I go for dividing like this, both the numbers perfectly, there is no number with which I can divide it perfectly. So, my HCF gets over here. Now, I will write HCF of 18,48 is equal to. Now, I get these two numbers. Only these two numbers are here. That is 2 into 3. That is equal to 6. The same answer as we got, got before. So, this is what you should know, children. Divide it using prime factors. Let us see the second question. You have 70, 70. Then you have 105 and you have 175. Now, look at all these digits. The last digits are either 0 or you have 5. 0 or 5. When the last digits are 0 or 5, which is a prime number with which you can divide these? Yes, it is 5. So, we are going to divide it by 5. 1 5 is a 5. Remaining 2. 20. How many times? 4 times. Okay. So 70 goes in 5 4 times. Then we will go with 5 here. 5. First we will take the number 10. In 10 2 times. 2 5 is a 10. Then 1 5 is a 5. So 21 into 5 is 105. Now we will go here. We will take 17 together. 5 1s are 5, 5 2s are 10, 5 3s are 15, 5 3s are 15. We have 17 here, 15 means 17 minus 15, there will be 2 remaining, we will put it here, then this becomes 25. So 5 how many times in 25? 5 5s five, are 25. So we get the numbers 14, 21 and 35. Now is there any number that goes in all these three? 14, 21 and 35, 2, no, because here you have 1 and 5 with the last, so 2 will not go, 3, no, 1 plus 4 is 5, so 3 will not go, five, after 3 next number is 5, no, 5 will not go, obviously 5 will not go, next one is 7, so let us try with 7, will 7 go children, 7 stable, you think of 7 stable, 7 1s are 7, 7 2s are 14, 7 3s are 21, 7 5s are 35. Got it? Now all these numbers are, all these numbers, what we got, 2, 3 and 5, they are all prime. Is there any common factor for them? No, prime numbers don't have any common factor. Prime factors are as such. So we have only these two numbers. What will be our HCF then? 
our HCF is equal to HCF of 70 comma 105 and 175 is equal to 5 into 7 that is equal to 5 into 7 is 35. Understood? Learn to divide this way. If you don't know to learn, if you don't know to divide it this way, uh, contact me. I'll let you know in the next class. Okay, tell me that if you don't, if you have not understood how to divide. But if you try, it is easier for you to do it. Now let's move on to the next one. The question is, what is the HCF of two consecutive numbers? Now consecutive numbers, consecutive, this is a word that will come again and again in maths. Okay. Consecutive. Consecutive means one after the other. That is 2 comma 3 are consecutive numbers. 1 comma 2 are consecutive numbers. Okay. 2, 3, 4 are consecutive numbers. Whereas 2 and 5 are not consecutive. So consecutive means one after the other what is coming. Okay. Consecutive numbers. So what is the HCF of two consecutive numbers? Any two consecutive numbers you take. 5, 6 or 19, 20 or 36, 37 or you have 15, 14 and 15. Any two numbers you take, what will be the HCF of these two consecutive numbers? That is the question. Of two consecutive numbers, any two numbers, consecutive numbers, what will be the? Now we know that any two nearby numbers, consecutive numbers, they are, I have taught you already, all the consecutive numbers are Co prime. They are co prime. That is, they don't have any common factor other than 1. They don't have any other common factor other than 1. Therefore, HCF of any consecutive prime number will be equal to, any consecutive number will be equal to 1. Any consecutive number you take, HCF will be equal to 1. Okay. So, that is the answer for our A. Now, B. Consecutive even numbers. Even numbers, consecutive even numbers, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, these are even numbers. Okay, any two even number you take, any two nearby even number you take, 4 or 6, 8 or 10. Is there anything common factor in between them? Yes, even numbers, the common factor is 2. So, HCF will always be equal to 2. Now we'll move on to the C part that is odd numbers. Odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. What is the HCF of any two consecutive? 1 and 3. What will be the HCF? Is there any common factor? No common factor. When there is no common factor, we write HCF as equal to 1. Understood? So for any two consecutive numbers, HCF is one. For any two consecutive even numbers, HCF is 2. Any two consecutive odd numbers, HCF is 1. I hope it is clear to you. Now we'll move on to the next one. The next question is, HCF of co-prime numbers 4 and 15 was found like this. That is, 4 is given as 4 is equal to 2 into 2 and 15 we are getting it as equal to 3 into 5. Okay, since there are no common prime factor, there is no 2 into 2, into these two, that is 4 and 15 if you take, there is no common number with which you can divide these two. 2 will not go, 3 will not go, 5 will not go, 7 will not go, 11 will not go, isn't it? 13 will not go. Well, next number, yes, this is obviously smaller than, so there are no common prime factors for these two. Now, so they are saying, so HCF of 4 and 15 is 0. They are saying, therefore, HCF of 4, 15 is 0. Is the answer correct or not? If not, what is the correct HCF? Just before, in the, uh, before uh, question only, I told you, when there is no common factor, when there is no common factor, then HCF is not equal to 0. HCF should be always 1. Okay. So, HCF of any number, any two numbers you take, the smallest HCF is going to be 1. Okay. 0 will never be the HCF of two numbers. 
if there are no prime factors there are no common factors for those two numbers then it is going to be 1 because 1 is common factor 1 is a factor of each and every number so hcf is going to be 1 it cannot be 0 now uh, lowest common multiple we are not talking about this lowest common multiple just strike it off i am not talking about this just read the question Renu purchases two bags of fertilizers of weight 75 kg and 69 kg. Find the maximum value. Find the maximum value. You have to see the word. It is maximum. When I taught you about HCF children in the beginning, I told you HCF is highest common factor. Then I told you, you have to look for words like highest, maximum, greatest, so, all these words, they, that is meant for finding the HCF. So, here they are asking two bags of fertilizers are 75 kg and 69 kg. Find the maximum value of the weight, which can measure the weight of fertilizer exact nine, number of time. Exact number of time. So, how will you find? What is that you have to find? You are, you are asked to find. The question is indirectly to find HCF of 75 and 69. Okay, so how will you find 75 comma 69? How will we do? 7 plus 5 is equal to 12 and 6 plus 9 is equal to 15. Now 12 and 15, they are multiples of 3. Obviously, we cannot divide it by 2. So, we have to see for 3. 3, how do we find the divisibility? By adding the digits. So, we can divide it by 3. In 7, how many times 3 will go? 2, 3 are 6. So, when you write 6 here, 7 minus 6 is 1, carry over 1, you get 15. So, 15, 3 in 15, how many times? 5 times. 5 3 is 15. So, you get 25. Why I am explaining is how to do the division. So, you should understand during this practice itself, you should understand how to do this division. Now, the next number is 6. In 6, 3 how many times will go? 3 1 is 3, 3 2 is 6. So, 2 times. 2 3 is 6 over. Next number is 9. A 9, how many times 3 will go? 3, 3 is a 9. So, we get 25 and 23. What is 23 children? 23 is a prime number. It is a prime number. So, it doesn't have any more factor. 25. So, here are HCF ends. Just one number we get. So, the answer is HCF of 75 and 69 is equal to 3. Now the question is maximum value of weight. Therefore, we write maximum value of weight. Maximum value of weight is three kg. That is, if you use three kg weight, you can measure seventy five kg also. You can measure sixty nine kg also without using any other weight. Okay. Now moving on to the next question. We have, read the question, the length, breadth and height of a room are 825 centimeter, 675 centimeter and 450 centimeter respectively. Find the longest tape which can measure the three dimensions of a room exactly. Find the longest tape is the question. How do you find this longest tape, longest word? So what is that you are asked to find? Yes, very correct. You have to find the HCF of 825, 675 and 450. So, we write all the three numbers here. 825, don't write it in the working column. You have to do it in the middle itself. 675 and 450. Don't worry about writing the steps and all. You have to just understand that it has to be HCF and then you can directly find the HCF. The last digits you see in the units place, it is 5, 5, 0. So, directly we can divide it by 5. 5 in 8 how many times? 1 5s are 5. 8 minus 5 3. So you get 32. You get here 32. So in 32 6 times. 6 5s are 30. Carry over 2. So you get 25. 5 5s are 25. Then in 6 how many times? 675 we are going to divide by 5. In 6 how many times 5 will go? 1 time. 1 5s are 5. So 6 minus 5 is 1. So, we get 17 here. 
17. How many times 5 will go in 17? 1 fives are 5, 2 fives are 10, 3 fives are 15. 3 fives are 15. 15 means 17 minus 15. Then remainder is, uh, remaining is 2. So when 2 comes here, it becomes 25. 5 fives are 25. Okay. Now we'll move on to 450. In 4, will 5 go? No. So we have to take 45 together. In 45, how many times? 9 fives are 45 and then we have 0. 165, 135 and then we have 90. Again, see the numbers at the last. It is 5, 5 and 0. So again, we can divide it by 5. 3 fives are 15. Then carry over 1, 15. Again, we get 3 fives are 15. Then we have 2 fives are 10. 3 remainder 5, 7 fives are 35. Then we have in 90, how many times will go? 1 fives are 5, then remainder 4, 40. 40 means 8 fives are 40. So you get 33, 27 and 18. Can you divide all the 3 numbers by 5 now? No, not possible. Can you divide all the 3 numbers by 2 now? No, not possible because the unit place it is 3 and 7, it is not even number. So now we have to think of 3. Can we divide it by 3? 3 plus 3, 33, 3 plus 3 is 6. Yes. 2 plus 7 is 9. Yes, multiple of 3. 18 is itself a multiple of 3. So, we can divide all the numbers by 3. So, when we divide by 3, we get 11 3s are 33. 9 3s are 27. 6 3s are 18. Now, you see here children, 11 is a prime number. So, we cannot go any further. So, it is over. 11, 9 and 6, there are no other common factors. It is over. So, how do you find the 4? HCF is equal to HCF of 825, comma 675, comma 450 is equal to 5 into 5 into 3. We will be taking only these numbers 5 into 5 into 3. That is 25 into 3 is 75. It is in centimeter. So, we will write this also in centimeter. So, it is 75 centimeter. So, you can write the answer, longest tape, longest tape, which can measure all these centimeters in exact number of times without cutting the tape or without uh, breaking the tape in between. Exact number of times we can cover is equal to 75 centimeter. Okay, so that is how we do it.